Good morning. Welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. I'm out here in Arizona, still in Arizona. Uh, it's overcast. Uh, they're calling for rain, so it could be raining on me at any time. But it's uh, no sun's out, so as long as the sun ain't out, we can come out and we can play. It's a little breezy. I, sh I shouldn't say it's breezy. It's a little windy. So it's kind of it's kind of a nice little comfortable day, anyways, to do a little bit of prospecting. The other day, I was out in the desert, just driving around, minding my own business. And I saw this wash that looked very interesting. I had a bucket with me, so I classified some material and I brought it back here and I'm gonna run it through a new piece of equipment I got. I just picked up this Geo Sluice High Banker and I'm wondering how good is it? Uh, I was kind of playing with it a little bit, but I'm gonna anyway run this material through that and we'll see if I can get myself some gold. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming along, sharing on these adventures, and that's what we're gonna do. Go see if we can get us a little bit of gold. This is them. This is the little one right here. This is just what I call this little mini blue. I haven't ever used this here. I picked it up, but I've never used it. I would probably use something like this. Maybe if I was just sitting around the camp and just wanted to kind of teaspoon the material in really slowly and just run it. But I don't like to do anything slowly. And I've got this one here. I really like this one. This is a. Uh, ran a lot of material through that over its time there it, it really uh chews through the material does pretty good and i thought well since that one works so good and i like to run more and more material i picked up this one i'll call this one big blue i call this one little blue this one's going to be big blue i like the pretty blue color it's got a three eighths inch classifier on the back of it so that's pretty cool uh, it does come with uh i believe this is an 1100 pump 1100 pump but i went ahead and put a 12 volt pump on there i mean a uh, 2200 pump and the valve it does have a valve and i just got to turn that down a little bit because it's too powerful but it's got some good features in it of course it's the drop riffle sluice but i'm going to show you that there and show you some cool things behind that there and the spray bar right here one thing i did notice this right here this will come out and the reasoning for that I found out was sometimes your your holes will plug up with weeds when you're out running in the desert and that so you can pull that out and then that'll help flush out the uh, your weeds in that so I thought that was pretty slick but I noticed when I was running it sometimes you can just open this up and just let the water just hit straight and actually that kind of helps if you've got a higher pump uh, or you know more gallons per hour pump like the 2200 you can actually t open this up and let water flow in so you're getting more water in there anyway it's a little pretty slick design let me show you my dirt i got right here so i classified this down this is a quarter inch just some sand out of a wash so i'm gonna run this bucket of dirt through there see if we can get it some color okay let me go ahead and start my pump up here I got a short of my wire in this pump here. I stole this off another piece of equipment that I had. Okay. Well, first thing you want to do is level it out. You can see it's running to this side here. So I've got to uh, lower this side down a little bit. So let me get this thing all leveled up. It's looking good up there. I got to get this side lowered. Leveled, let me do that right now. That looks a little more better. Looks a little more better. I gotta have to pick my backside a little bit now. Okay, that all looks good. So, let me start running some material through here. Like it's got it's got ridges right here in the top, so you almost got a nugget trap right here in the very beginning, which is kind of cool. You can see 
how the material comes down. I kind of like this air actually. Let me show you this here. So we're doing this here. And it, like it, there's a bigger drop right here. And then you've got another big drop here and then it mellows it out again. This is actually kind of cool right in the middle of that. We'll settle it right here. It'll aggressively move some material, settle it, and then settle it back down again. I just kind of like this design. I think I'll just kind of quickly run this through here. Get rid of this little gas that I go to. That actually sprays pretty good in there. See if I can take this thing off here. My hands are wet. Take this off. I'll show you the top spot on that there. Put more water pressure up in there, more water. Helps kind of wash that down. It actually helps separate the sprays around to the side. You can use that if you don't, if you don't want to. Put it back in there again. It's up to you. It's designed for a cleanup though, but kind of how that uh, middle riffle, how it just kind of it stops that material right there and then lets it fan out and then sends it back down to the bottom riffles. So it's almost like it's got two sets. It's kind of cool, I think.
First thing I need to do is clean this upper piece off here. Oh, I see gold. Look at that. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that gold right there. Look at it. Look at all the gold. See it? Right there in the beginning. That's nice when you get gold right there. sand that's why you clean up more often when, you, when you're in an area with a lot of black sands you got to clean up more often get rid of that black sand whether you're dry washing or high banking dredging that black sand can uh whoo man look at that gold <laughs> just trying to get rid of this blonde sand right here everything just get rid of the blonde I'll keep the black sand I just kind of want to get rid of that blonde sand I can do a little more finer clean out in a little bit here. oh man a lot of fine gold in there little chunky pieces look at that Big, big pieces in there. But a lot of fine stuff in there. That's okay. That'll add up. That will add up. And I did get me another bucket of that stuff too. So actually, I have another bucket of that I can run. But hey, I'll show you a close up of that. But that ain't bad at all. One of these days, I'll do a video and show you how quickly you can get rid of it all your black sands out of your pan one of these days but look at that that ain't bad at all a lot of fine gold looks like there was one nice little chunky piece in there maybe but it's like it's just all fines fines but hey that's good i was in a nice little in the wash right there that looked like it was uh kind of all gathered up and started to gather and that's what I suspected, and that's what that is. That is nice. I like that. Whee, man, that's some pretty gold. You guys that know me know I don't keep my gold, so you know uh, I'll be giving this away, so stay tuned. You never know how I'm going to do it, but I'll be giving this away with all the gold that I seem to find over time. Metal detecting, whatever I do, when I find gold, I end up giving it away, so stay tuned for all the You know, giveaways. I fed that thing awful fast. I suggest that you don't feed it quite as fast as I did. Run it a little slower. Well, it's all put together. Ready to run again. Got that other bucket of dirt I can run one day. All right, this second, I don't think so. You know, I'll tell you a story about these uh, drop riffle sluices here. 
Uh, I've heard about them for many, many years, and I know you guys have heard me talk about them before, running that little blue. I kind of like that. I was given that challenge years ago to uh, to try it, you know, just to uh, forget what I've learned and all this stuff about miner's moss and expanded metal, because that's what I believe in, And but to try it. Sure, I'll try it. So I ran it, and I was impressed that it actually caught gold. It's not like some of these fangdangled mats and stuff like that. It's actually a drop riffle. So it's a deeper, you know, deeper riffle that actually drops in. So it's still a riffle. And just the way it's designed, it actually captures gold. And I was impressed. So I've been running that little blue for, I don't know, the last couple of years. When I just bring back dirt from out in the deserts and stuff like that. And actually, I kind of like it. I like how easy it is to clean up. I like how easy it is to set up. I don't have to pull a bunch of mats and carpets and and trays and all that type of stuff other i just basically clean that up and there's the gold easy to test easy to pack lightweight uh the only thing i've noticed about them you got to keep them out of the sun the sun will tend to fade them and, and make them a little brittle over the year so that you want to do but other than that hey i think that's an excellent machine so i liked it so much i had to get the big one and hey i like to chew through material you know i like getting my gold quickly <laughs> but hey i was impressed so it did work and it does do its job and that's what it needs to do so uh i'll continue to run some dirt here i got another bucket i'm going to run through here but anyways i just want to do a quick little video and show you guys this here uh high banker there from geo sluice but anyways you guys all take care of yourselves thanks for coming along get out in this you know in the deserts or mountains yourself go out and try to find a little bit of that yellow gold get out there you'll enjoy just being out there but anyways i want to thank you guys coming along sharing on these adventures and until our paths cross again you guys all be safe and thanks for watching everyone Can't believe how the color